a follow up now that I'm back home. Yeah, that was really the whole visit was sad, and I'm. I actually am sorry I went. I I went because I know mom likes the salad bar, and it was more for mom than anything else. Originally, I thought oh Longhorn, but then she likes Ruby Tuesday, and that I was thinking about how. I more enjoy going to an independent restaurant because you meet the proprietor and the proprietors of the restaurant take special effort to make you feel, feel well, special. But until tonight, that was also the case at Ruby Tuesday. I always had a great experience there for years. This is the one outlier. And this guy was more like a bouncer in a nightclub. He... Huh, basically continued to insist that the coupon I just ran off right here at this computer, uh, excuse me, at this uh, printer here, all right, earlier to today, basically said, and I ran off my computer, hooked it up, and he says, oh, this was used at another time. And the, the date and time stamp is completely right at the top of it. All he had to do was look at it. He never once acknowledged that, not once. He kept saying, well, the time he kept saying, well, the code doesn't work. That's not my fault. Instead of say, handling it like a manager, which is, oh, well, so I see that you ran this off today. I tell you what, we're going to go ahead and honor the coupon. Don't worry. Instead, he kept pushing the, that the coupon didn't work. The code didn't work. It was used before. And I kept insisting that it wasn't. And I said, hey, let me show you something. Uh... Here's a search, and if you go to Ruby Tuesday, Fayetteville, GA, Georgia, you will find my videos. And I say, basically, I control the narrative about your business, your establishment, and I have to report this. He's, oh, you're threatening me, huh? I said, no, I'm just telling the truth. And I am. That's, he goes, oh, so you're kind of like, yup. I said, well, actually worse, because what I do appears on Google, being in Yahoo. Okay. And you would say, okay, I'm wrong for saying that. Here's why I'm not. First of all, folks need to understand that people who manage restaurants in, in a, you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? A service position. And it's not just anyone who manages a restaurant. When I started Sports Business Simulations, there was a student who was using my Oakland Baseball Sim World and was having a problem. When she called me, it was 1227 at night. And it was the Saturday during the NFL draft. I believe this was 2005. And she had a problem. I happened to be enjoying a cigar and a bourbon at a cigar bar in the, on the Upper East Side in Manhattan. But did I tell her I was there? No. Did I tell her that... You know, I was covering the NFL draft. No. Did I say anything that would give her an indication that I wasn't interested in solving her problem? No. Instead, I gave her my personal password for the simulation. I said, look, use my account. Use my downloads for your grade because you've got a final. If you have any other problems, I don't care what time it is, you call me back. She said, thank you so much. That's service, okay? That's humbling yourself before a customer. Those of you out there who think there's something wrong with that, you're never going to succeed in business at any level, and you're going to cause problems for other people in business, like this fellow did. Unnecessary problems that could be handled by simply saying, sir, you know, I give you the benefit of the doubt of being an honest person. He didn't give me that. He implied that I was a dishonest person. Even as much as he was later saying to my mom, I wasn't saying that. He was. And so, when my mom was trying to get me to shut up, I wasn't, I never raised my voice. I was, you know, kind of relaxed, like, oh yeah, you know. And he never said, hey, you know what, I'm sorry, or... I should have handled that differently. Nothing. He never even looked at me. There was more like, you know, the, the guy had some issues going. And he's black like me. And you would say, why is that important? Because you don't want to put your folks in that kind of position. But 
there comes a time when you have to insist on being treated a certain way regardless of who the person is that's treating you badly. You can't just say, oh, it's okay because he's black. You know, you can treat me the kind of way you want. I kind of, I get it, you know? Well, not all the time. Not all the time, especially when it's like that. No, because I have a right to be treated. Customer is king or queen. That's my right. See? So he didn't follow any of that at all. And I told him, hey, look, and I said in the first video, I intend to pay the entire bill. You don't even have to honor the coupon. But I'm going to report this. And when he was talking to my mom, he says, when my mom said, shut up, you know, because I was saying, the reason why I was talking is I said, well, actually, because he was explaining his, his case to my mother, but he didn't tell my mother that the date stamp when I ran the coupon off was right at the top. He says, well, this couldn't have been done. He said, and I quote, he said, this could have been done at any time. <laughs> and I said, the date stamp is right there. My mom says, she shut up. <laughs> and he's like, and he says this, yeah, he shouldn't be saying anything. Well, that's not his place to say that. And I said, so I said, you know what? You shouldn't have said that. That was wrong. And he goes, Hus. I'm like, what, thinking to myself, what is wrong with this guy? And I'm just chuckling because it's, you know, I'm seeing with wide eyes, wide angle vision, this fellow. And I'm thinking he's the manager of Ruby Tuesday here in Fayetteville, Georgia. No way. Whoa. Uh-uh. You got to be kidding me. And not only that, all the other managers that Ruby Tuesdays, all brothers and sisters, great. I say brothers would be black folks. Great people. So this is the matter of, you know, a singling out. It's just this dude. That one dude. You know? So, I hope they talk to him. And make him a better manager and a better person. That's what this is about. Because... The customer is always right. Even in 2015, the customer is always right. Until the customer is truly wrong in treatment, the customer is always right. In this case, that that follows. 1,000%. Now, someone might say, well, you should never expect great service at Ruby Tuesday. No, you should. I've got it. I've had it before. I've had great service there. And my previous videos show that. I've had great times there. But when I have a bad time like this one, I mean, it would, see, it would be a different thing if maybe, okay, the food wasn't so good this time out, right? You know, you can forgive something like that as long as it's edible and you're, satisfies your hunger pangs, right? But this was far different. I had a steak, the steak was great. But the service was bad, and it wasn't just him either. When I wanted, first of all, the original waitress didn't take the coupon. She didn't, and she says, we'll save that later. later. A. B. She kind of acted like we shouldn't have a coupon. Like there was something beneath to even bring in a coupon. My mom insists on using coupons. She is the coupon queen. And so I could not take her to dinner without running off a coupon. She's just like that. Even if I'm picking up the tab, that's my mom. She, you know, she's, that's my mom. So, hey, honor your mom. So, um, and I do. And then when I needed to take, have someone get the coupon after she got the bill, I said, hey, could you, to one passerby waitress, could you hand this to, you know, the waitress because she didn't get the coupon. Oh, well, you can just take it up there yourself. Just go and walk up to the bar. And I said, I I'm, I'm sitting right here trying to finish my coffee, and that's bad service. I said it just like that. I don't know if they're not used to someone you know, insisting on good service. You shouldn't have to, but that's good service. You are, again, in the service of people when you take a position like that. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's a very honorable thing to do. But it's bad when you don't take a job and look at it like that. That's horrible. It's bad. I hope someone talks to these folks. Because a lot of people don't complain. They just sort of, you know, take what they get. 
and think that they deserve to be treated like that. No one deserves to be treated that way. I don't care how inexpensive the meal is. That's not the point.